Today's video, which is video two of this video series, we're gonna keep working on my controller that is going to allow us to communicate with a Teledron by using a VR device, by using also a standalone type application, which we've been building as part of this series. Today, I'm gonna be focusing specifically on statistics. So I wanna be able to get, you know, what is the altitude of this device? What is the battery level? And different stats that are gonna help us in looking, and actually when we're driving, this device from the Oculus device or from the standalone version. So we're gonna be looking at how we can parse some of the information from the UDP server, get it, and then bind it to UI controls within Unity. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. On the previous video, we looked at implementing the drone client. We went through and added most of the implementation. I think we have everything that we need. One thing to know though is when we have the receiver, which is running on a, on a different thread, we are updating the stats, so we went through and, and also added the extension method from something that I already done in, in GitHub that basically gets the, the data into an object that we can consume and then bind to the front end. So now that we have this, we need to be able to consume it, right? There's really, this is in memory, but we haven't really bind it to anything. So the drone state manager, if we go back into our diagram here, we'll go ahead and pull it up. We work on this piece right here, which I'm highlighting with my mouse, drone client, main thread, receiving thread. We also work on some of the initial UI canvas logger. This is some of this work is already done. And, and I show you that, that that will be included in the project that I'm submitting to GitHub. But what we need to do now is we need to work on these guys. Like, okay, well, I have the state manager information that I'm getting from this component. So now we need to be able to send the drone state manager info into basically pull the information from the drone client into the drone state manager so that we can bind it to the ui canvas so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be adding an update frequency so i'm going to do serialized field private float update frequency and then i'm going to set it by default to be that we update the stats every second then i'm going to be adding a bunch of properties uh, fields i already you know have in my clipboard i don't want to type it all so pitch your role, basically everything that we have right here on the UI, we're gonna be binding to. Let's go ahead and go back into C Sharp. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a method that we're gonna to have to uh, execute through a, through a core routine. So I'm gonna call this one, it's gonna be an I enumerator, and we don't have the namespace for that, so we'll just add it. And this one's gonna be called a star a stats update. And it doesn't matter how, how you wanna call it, I think, you know, what, a name that makes sense to you. In my case, I want to update stats, so that's going to be updating different stats. So the next thing that I need to do is I'm gonna do yell new, new, wait four seconds. And then this one, it's going to, I think I already have, yep, I already have it in there, but I need to return it. So I'm gonna do yell return new, and then this is gonna be the update frequency. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to be executing, basically it's going to, execute whatever is here first, and then it's gonna wait, you know, one second, and then it's gonna keep doing it and doing it and doing it. So I'm gonna add that to the very end. And then what we'll have in here, it's going to be, you know, we wanna make sure that first that the SDK is initialized before we, we try to bind these properties. Otherwise, everything's gonna be set to zero. It's not gonna have any value. So I think it makes sense to check for that. So I'm just gonna do if, and then remember that I have a singleton for the drone client. So I can do drone client. I'm gonna do not because we wanna make sure that if it's not initialized, then I can check and you know I can basically log it and say, you know, the SDK has not been initialized yet. So me in that in that case, we don't we're not gonna be updating the stats. And then I'm gonna just do continue so that we can continue through the loop. Then what I'll do here, I'll just do an instance and then we'll just print a warning saying that the SDK has not been initialized. I'll just say SDK initialize is not set is not true or you can do something more more friendly than that and then i can also do i also have a status uh, actually state text which is which tells me if something is you know if the device is online if it's not online so think about this class as a class to basically manage your your ui so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do an interpolation and i'm going to do a state and the value that I'm gonna put putting in here, in this case, we, we're not initialized yet, so I want this to be color equal red. And then that means that we're gonna be offline, right? We, we haven't really connected the device successfully because the SDK has not been initialized. 
And if you remember where these get set, if we go back into the, this one and you go and search for that, it's only gonna happen the first time that we hit an okay. So that means that we initialize the SDK, we set it to true, we print it out, and then we're, we're okay to take, basically do takeoff, landing, and any other you know, movement that we wanted to do with the, with the drone. So in this case, this is gonna be offline. We, we haven't really connected the device. And then what I'll do next is gonna be, well, in this case, it is gonna be online. So I'm gonna set it to online. And in this case, we wanna do something like, we can just do green so that we know, we, we tell people, you know, somebody, uh, the drone is actually currently online. So the next thing that I need to do now that I have all these, all these variables is we need to bind every single one of these variables. So we can go ahead and do, I'll do one and then I'll just paste the rest. So we'll just do something like this. I'm just gonna do the pitch in this case is gonna be pitch. And then I'm gonna put the value after, after the fact. Well, and this is not gonna be the value. The value, remember, is gonna go from, it's gonna come from the instance. It's going to be my drawn stats. And every single one of these properties are, is, are going to align with the name of the, the field. So it should be pretty easy to just copy and paste and then, and then add every single one of them. So if you wanted to do, let's say you wanted to get the raw value from the drone, you can just change this. And you can also change, you know, obviously this. If you wanted to get, you know, different property, let's say that we get also the height. And you can also do the same thing here. We can also pay, you know, do the same thing here. Make sure that you name these ones correctly and don't make mistakes like the ones that I'm making. But if you make them, then you're gonna be learning as well as I am doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the rest because this is gonna take some time. So I'll just copy and paste everything in there. I think I got everything in there. So I also have a last updated text. Let me bring that in space. This is just so that I know that every second or, or whatever this value is, that we are updating our statistics, right? So if we're updating our statistics, we're also going to be printing the last time that we updated. We're gonna also be adding, I don't need two of this. I'm also going to be changing the state based on the state of the, you know, the connection to the, to the drone. So if we go back into the, the Unity, we're gonna be able to now bind. So everything in here, it's going to be not bound yet. So if I go into the state manager, you're gonna see that everything in here is like that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and bind every single one of these ones manually, and then I'll do the same thing if we go into the other scene. I also need to do the same thing on the Oculus because on the Oculus viewer, or the if you go into center, I anchor, drone console canvas, you're gonna see that I also have the same, basically the same setup that I had on the standalone. So if you look at the drone stats manager, these ones are bound already for whatever reason I think that worked. Let me see if I can copy this and we can go back into standalone if it'll magically, sometimes it magically, okay, no, it didn't work. Okay, so we'll do that manually, that's okay. And then I'll just show you the rest as soon as I'm done. We have all of our different UI elements that we're gonna be, you know, binding to already, you know, already bound. The last thing that I need to do in this, in this scene, I need to actually bind to the star stats. This is not gonna have to be done on the Oculus version because on the Oculus version, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be binding a button action on the controller to the star stat. So as soon as I do that, as, to, as soon as we initialize the SDK, I'm gonna be calling into this action as well automatically. And I'll show you as well how we're going to be doing that. But on this case, which is the standalone, we're going to be going into the stats of the button. We're gonna add a new, you know, basically a new event on the on click. And then what we're gonna do here is remember we had the we had a method, if we go back into this, well this right now doesn't really, it's not gonna allow us to call it. So what we need to do one more thing here is we're gonna have to say star stats. And this is so that we can call it from basically the bound that we're binding to. So I'm gonna do a star core routine and then I'm gonna say a star a stats update. Make sure you open and close parentheses. And then that way, you know, if anybody wants to call into the drone stats manager, they'll have, there'll be a, a star stats public method that we can call to, which therefore it's going to call into the I enumerator by using a core routine. So if we go back into Unity, wait for this to compile. There we go. Now we should be able to drag and drop the, the drone states manager. And then we can go here and then select or star stats. Okay, so one thing that I think we need to fix here is if we are not initialized, we're gonna keep continuing, but we're never returning, 
the actual, doing the yell on the enumerator. So that's gonna cast problems. So what we need to do here is, I'm gonna do this at the beginning, and we can just say, we're gonna wait for one second and then update the stats and then check on every second instead of doing this on every, you know, on every single frame. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm gonna go back into Unity. We're gonna go ahead and hit play and see what happens. So we should see that right now, logger says enable. If I hit on star stats, it's going to wait one second. You can see that we haven't really initialized the drone just yet. We're also not getting anything on the stats because I haven't really initialized it or connected the drone. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Let's go ahead and get the drone connected. All right, guys, so I got the drone connected right behind me. I'm gonna go into network here and make sure that I can connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna hit connect. And it should connect right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And we'll wait until Unity, there we go, logger enable. And we can start the stats if we wanted to. It's not gonna damage anything, but I wanna show you how that's going to keep checking and checking, okay, ha have we initialized the SDK yet, have we? And in this case, we haven't, but I'm gonna initialize it. We got an okay from the, from the actual drone, so that means that we did initialize that command. And you can see that we're getting now some statistics. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the drone, and I'm gonna show you how cool this is. So, if I start moving the drone, there's a couple of things that I want you to look at. One of them is going to be the stats that I'm seeing right here on the UI. The other thing it's going to be also really helpful, I think, because it's a serializable object. And you can see as I move the drone up and down, it's actually changing these values. So this is really good because now not only we're getting stats in here, we are also checking, you know, in the background if we initialize the drone or not. We also have the state, you know, it's online or not online. We can also take off, we can also land it, and then you know do a lot of different cool things that we can do with the drone. So the other thing that I could do now, if we go back into here, into scenes, if I go into the Oculus drone client, we're gonna start binding some of the methods that are going to, that are going to update the UI for the VR version. But I don't wanna do that on this video because it's gonna make this video a little longer. What I'll do is I'll wrap up the video as we have it right now so we finish the estate manager. On the next video, I'm going to show you how we can do the same thing, but with the Oculus version, and also how we can use this planner here to basically do a pass through. So thank you very much for your time, guys.